San Diego City College is bringing back The Legend. No, not Ron Burgundy. It's a news magazine published and written by students in the digital journalism department at City College. Legend magazine was last published in, get this, 1946. And much like its publication back then, the magazine aims to provide quality stories reflecting the diverse happenings in and around our campus. You can pick up issues of the magazine at city campus newsstands and local cafes. And San Diego City College will also launch a new television show about the border next week. It will premiere next Friday at 6 p.m. right here on ITV. The show is called Stories de la Frontera Student Edition. The show features stories about the border region in San Diego and Tijuana through the eyes of students. Stories range from U.S. military veterans deported to Mexico to fans of Cholos Club Tijuana de Caliente. This is the first class in the school's history of, to create a half-hour show about the border region. You can tune in or find it on YouTube. Well, it's a dream come true for one Mount Hope resident as she shares her love of music with the youth of San Diego. Nate Holmes has more on how this inspiring group has become the heartbeat of a promising drumline. A group of San Diego students are marching to the beat of their own drum. All thanks to the Jackie Robinson YMCA drumline. The Thunder Squad drum line is gaining notoriety along the coast of California. Under the direction of Tyra Hawthorne, they've gone from a small community program to performing at major events. They have accomplished so much as far as performances and not just, you know, a few high school football games. We're talking about scholarship galas, MLK breakfast. My favorite part would definitely have to be the appreciation we get from all the performances. Everybody really appreciates what we do. and. Um, the community really supports us in what we do. The group has even put together their own music video. But a large part of their success is due to Miss Tyra running a tough ship. If he knows the cadence, he needs to perform it the way he knows the cadence. In order to be here, they have to have a certain GPA. So they all have to have a 3.0 and above. Some come in and they make it, <laughs> and some come in and they don't last because they don't understand a lot of the work that goes, it's a lot of work that goes into, you know, being here. They have to be in shape. They have to be willing to put in the time because we practice three days a week. No matter how big the Thunder Squad gets, they never lose sight of their purpose. We're just there to entertain people, make, bring in the community, bring in kids in the community, and that's, that's the main point. I'm here. I started it. I, you know, I started the program. I set the foundation. But at the end of the day, if it wasn't for them, it, it still wouldn't be a program if they wasn't willing to be a part of it. The Jackie Robinson YMCA drum line is always welcoming new members. They even let me drum out on the beat. Hit it, guys. Nate Holmes, new scene. And if you're interested in joining the Thunder Squad, you can email Tyra Hawthorne at jryMCADrumline at ymca.org. And it's also worth noting that Tyra Hawthorne is up for Community Activist of the Year Award tomorrow, so congratulations to her. Well deserved. Well, the Chargers are taking an important a step to increase their chance at the playoffs. Omar Alatori has more on that in our sports segment. That's Omar? Right. Thank you, Dell. Thank you, thank you, Charlie. Chargers are still in the hunt for the spot in the AFC playoffs. Last night, Phillips Rivers and the Bulls showed up to play against Manning and the Broncos. In the first quarter, Manny connects to Andre Caldwell for the 15-yard touchdown, putting Denver first on the board. The play of the night goes to Keenan Allen as he whoop, leaps over for the 19-yard touchdown. They see that again in slow-mo. Coming up, there you go. Leapfrog, thank you very much. Touchdown. In the second half, River hands it off to Ryan Matthew as he goes to the corner. And up the sideline, he goes for the 20-yard touchdown, extending the lead, 24 to 17. Big win for the Chargers. The Broncos suffer the first home boss of the season. Phillip Rivers is the second quarterback to beat the Manning brothers on back-to-back -back games. The Chargers will play next Sunday against the Hated Rivers, the Oakland Raiders. The 2013 Heisman Trophy is just around the corner. There's plenty of reasons for college fans to celebrate as this Saturday will be announced who will win the Heisman Trophy. Heisman voters have narrowed down to the six finalists, Jordan Lynch from Northern Illinois, last year's winner, Jordan Menzel from Texas A&M, Auburn's Trey Mason, H.M. McCarron from Alabama, Andre Williams from Boston, 
called State for State. Famous gymnast from Winston. You can catch the action tomorrow on ESPN, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. There's still a lot of controversy about the 2014 World Cup draw. Even though the drawings last year and Friday in Brazil, many keep questioning the process. Skeptics say the draw seems too cruel forwards. The teams do not have been fixed. Conspiracy theories about how FIFA did it were buzzing online this week. One popular video suggested teams' names were exchanged by the ceremony presenter once he opened the selecting balls that contained the names of the 20, 32 participating teams. But nothing has been demonstrated yet. The U.S. is on the Group G, one of the death groups of this tournament, and will play G Germany, Portugal, and Ghana, while Mexico is part of the Group A and will play against Croatia, Cameroon, and the whole Brazil. There you have it, folks. I can't wait for the World Cup. It's going to be interesting how Mexico and U.S. finish. All right, I can't wait for the World Cup either. <laughs> All right, next up, the San Diego Zoo is transforming this weekend for the holidays. We'll tell you what you and your family can expect. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Coming up, find out more about the man who inspired Will Ferrell's infamous role in the film, Anchorman.